say dead is what it is. It's all things that there's nothing I put in there. It's all stuff that's been approved now by the voters. So um, this is Appendix D, isn't it? Correct. Yes. And um, the principal payments are up 5.48%. Interest is down 1.14. And an overall increase of 3.77. So. I have a comment on this. With We're leaving uh, two uh, bonds behind as we leave 2018. So what um, let's see. the SRF projects refinancing. So our last payment on that is uh, next. In 19, not 18. 19. Next, in, I'm sorry, in 2019, and right. the same for the uh, wastewater treatment plant from 99. So if we look on the back page here, it shows She's in that, D. that our total indebtedness for uh, bonds is, is going to be 41 million 99,613. That includes the first phase of the wastewater treatment plant renovation, if I recall correctly, the 11 million and change. But this does not include the other two steps of the wastewater treatment plant rehab. So we are looking at a substantial burden of over $41 million for the taxpayers going up to 2042. So I would be a little cautious as to projects that need to be bonded in the future. And I would only point out in regards to that, in 2024, we lose some, uh, one more, and then 2026, we lose two more large ones, and then yeah. in 2028, we lose another one. So yeah. phase two, I think, is out another five years, if I heard correctly. And then by the time it gets underway and stuff, I know that the 11.78, yeah. um, according to DES, they're not expecting us to start repaying that until 2023 as of right now. Oh, okay. With their estimated completion dates. So, um, wow. yes, it is 41 right now, but that number will change because as each of these drop off. Well, um, it will certainly It'll be take replaced possibly with another phase, yes. maybe, if that's the way yes. the voters decide to Absolutely. Yeah, the but ceiling on our bonds is over $100 million. That's Yes. <laughs> we just did that whole well, thing we last bond. year. Uh -huh. Yeah. So we have plenty of, um, we're not, I don't believe that we're in danger of anything. You so. want to give us a heart attack, Fred? <laughs> well, it's there for safety reasons, but you never, you never know what's going to happen. I know. Hopefully we don't have to use it at all. Right. There. That yeah. clears us for tonight, I do believe. Well, we have a $13.8 million bond and a $6 million bond that hasn't technically hit the books yet, right? No, it hasn't. It's, so it's still building up oh, sure. to 2042. Right. So, yep. the, but like, the, our, it'll, it'll go beyond that as we have new. You know, our annual payments for 20 and 21 are going to be over $2.6 million. Yeah. Payoff. Correct. So, and if yep. you notice, the big jump is actually in. Uh, 2023, you go up to 3.3. Yeah. Yeah. So that's where when Fred and I were talking about the tax rate and stuff today, which is the next topic, I think. But um, when we were discussing that, we were pointing out that right. in 2023, you just added, if everything stays the same as today, which we know it won't, you just added 24 cents to your tax rate. Yeah. Which is those, yeah. uh, that $800,000. Mm -hmm. So, okay. And then, where okay. are we? So that's it for budget sections tonight. Yep. That's all I had. Thank you.